What's up, Trubies? This is Christy, and you're watching my True Blood Addiction. I hope everybody had a safe and happy Halloween weekend. We did. We had a lot of fun. I didn't go to any parties or anything, but um, we went with the kids trick-or-treating and carved jack-o'-lanterns, dinner with family, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween weekend as well. That's my favorite time of year. Um, I got a package in the mail yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and do this video on... Um, the fangs that I have screen used fangs from True Blood. I have been dying to open this since I got home last night, but I wanted to do a video unboxing, so I waited until today. I have a few minutes before I have to leave for work, so let's go ahead and get this going. So, these I got well, while I'm opening this, actually, let's go back to this. I am the administrator for, I'm pretty sure it's the largest True Blood fan group on Facebook. We have over 18,000 members. If you're not a member of that group, I will put the link to the group in the description below. Um, answer the three questions to get into the group. It's, uh, you have to agree to the rules, which are the general rules for every group that you enter. And uh, you have to name a main character from the show, and there's a bot test. It's like, what is seven plus three, or four plus three, the answer is seven. So go ahead and uh, fill out those questions. I've got my moderators declining any requests that do not have those answers. But like I said, I'll put that link in the description below. And I've got this box open. All right. So I got this from a member in our group uh, she had them posted on eBay and I seen them on eBay and I seen on my post that I made about them that a few of you also seen them on eBay um, I couldn't afford them right as I seen them but she messaged me on Facebook and offered them to me and I couldn't say no at that point so I already have uh, four sets this will be my fifth set of screen used things from the show. Opening the COA here. I'm so excited to get these. Kind of got a little thing going here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Here's the COA for them. It's James Broken Fangs from season six when he was in the vamp camp with Jessica and he refused to sleep with her and they ended up breaking his fangs. These are those broken fangs. These are hard fangs. These aren't the soft ones. These, uh, you, you can get screen used fangs in soft and hard. I'll tell you more about that when I get into the other ones. These are hard fangs. And she sent some pictures of him with the broken fang. The part where they were draining Bill when the sunlight roof opened. Those are the fangs he was wearing. Thank you so much, girl. That's a perfect, perfect addition to my collection. <clears throat> okay, now to show you the other ones that I have. First off, these were the first set of fangs that I got. They belong to... John Henry, season one, episode one, when they were at the Quickie Mart, Quickie Mart, I think that's what it's called, Quick Stop, something like that, the uh, college students asking about V, or the boy was asking about V, and the clerk was pretending to be the vampire, and John Henry stepped up. And then I'll eat you. It's like my favorite line from him. Let me get these. I don't want to break them.
These are also hard fangs. They're not like a gel material, they are hard. Those are the fangs that you see on season one, episode one, the first vampire fang shown on the show. I got those right there. Like I said, those were my first. I also got those from a member in our group. I haven't asked his permission to mention his name. If he allows me to, I will put the link to his group down in the description as well. The second set of things that I bought were Malcolm's from season one. Malcolm and Diane, and I forget the other vampire's name, the guy with the skull tattoos that Jason got all crazy about. And here's Malcolm's fangs right there. These are hard fangs as well. Again, there's the COA. Forgive me for the pause. I have a 14-year-old dog, and when she's got to go to the bathroom, she's got to go to the bathroom. So I had to get up and let her out. Okay, so <clears throat> the third set of fangs that I bought, or yes, the third set. Warlow's Soft Fangs. Now I seen an interview with Rob and he was showing that he had his hard fangs still, like he owned those himself. So I thought it was really, really cool to be able to get his soft set and I'll show you a little bit of the difference. These ones, they bend, they're like rubber. And I'm pretty sure they use these, like the soft fangs in the biting scene so it looks like it's like going into the skin you can kind of penetrate it in a little bit so there is Warlow's soft fangs and again with that COA okay and the fourth set that I bought I got Willa's and Warlow's both off of eBay. And these are Willa's soft fangs. One of them fall off. Let's see, they're soft. Those are Willa's. So, <clears throat> John Henry's ran me roughly $200. Uh, same with Malcolm's. They were around $200. Uh, Warlow's cost me a little more than $200. I think about $250. Uh, Willa's cost me about $250. And um, James's fangs were the most expensive that I've gotten and the most recent. What did I pay for those? A uh, little over $300, $325 is what I paid for James's fangs. So I've kind of got a little fang collection here going on with uh, screen used fangs from True Blood. One of the many things that I'm trying to collect for my props. I need to figure out how to display them. When I got a couple of them, they were in like a shadow box. And then a couple of them came in these like clear acrylic cube things like display cubes but I want to hang them up on the wall so I think I'm going to go with the shadow box idea I just need to figure out something that can like hold these see like that I need to figure out something that I can use to like display these somehow like something to set them on that'll kind of hold them in place and show them like this, like something like that. But I'm not sure exactly what to use. I, I'm not knowledgeable to all those different kind of display cases. I've been trying to Google them, but it's very overwhelming Googling, you know, display ideas. There's so many things to look at. Well, that was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed showing them to you. 
Again, uh, the link to my Facebook group will be down in the description. And join me for my future videos by subscribing to my channel and hit that like button, please. Thank you so much. See you guys in a bit. Later.